right, we're back whenever the uh, El Tita Ray uh, phenomenon began. Uh, I had a lot of interest in that bloodline. So El Tita Ray is a fantastic dog, and he was put together nicely, and just everybody agreed that he was very likely the best pit bull over a 10-year span. And uh, so I began to feel some responsibility since El Tita Ray is 70% my blood. Uh, trying to turn that into into a sustainable bloodline. Um, the uh, Peter Ray himself was a three way three way cross, at least three ways. And that uh, you know you never know how much of what you're getting is hybrid vigor. Sort of like I was talking about with the alligator uh, spike Chinaman breeding that was so productive. Um, so anyway, I've uh, acquired. A, a female named Tommy G from Brandon Phillips. Uh, he was very, he very generously put that bitch in my hands, and, and I acquired semen uh, off of El Tidoray and inseminated her with it, and got a very nice litter of five females and, and uh, two males, uh, all of which have worked out very nicely for us. This is uh, one of the females, double bred LT DeRay. Her name is Tati, T A T I. And uh, she's produced nice litters for us. She's very well conformed, got a great heart and uh, great natural endurance. Very, very fine young dog. And you'll, you'll see us a little further down the line start to do some crosses. We might throw uh, Ray Lewis or uh, Red Boy on top of her. And you'll be uh, you'll be surprised how that will will produce. I used the first two breedings uh, from all of these females to go back to the NASCAR dog, and uh, in order to preserve the bloodline. And uh, so we've we've done our due diligence and preserved the blood. Now we're going to be starting to cross the crosses, early breedings of these dogs to unrelated or less related studs. Uh, have shown that high quality Eli will definitely make it work and high caliber Red Boy, Cottingham Red Boy will definitely make it work. Right now she is uh, bred to Red, to Red Boy. Yeah. So she's showing the early signs of pregnancy. She looks like she's probably got three to four more weeks. Probably three weeks. And uh, this guy right here who happens to be next in line is the, is the sire. This is uh, a red boy, tramp red boy dog. Double red off of Cottingham's champion red man. Uh, he is 11 years old now and still very strong and vital and and uh, producing large litters. Uh, you can look at him. He's still a physical specimen and uh, has lots of muscle and he's uh, He's still in his athletic prime. We expect to get another, at least another three or four years out of him. The studs here on Bulldog Hill, the way we take care of them, and with the fact that we manufacture the world's uh, leading supplement for elevating sperm count, um, all that comes together to result in dogs that uh, it's not unusual for them to be producing at 14 years old. This, uh, this guy is... Uh, very nicely up on the register of merit list and uh, is uh, I believe I'd be honest in saying that in the world today he is the most proven red bull stud alive today. All good things come to an end and uh, yeah, don't listen to what I'm saying, Red Boy. Nothing lives forever. <laughs> uh, so you have to prepare in advance for the future. This handsome fellow is a son of Red Boy bred to his sister, Ginger. His name is Red John. And he's a very fine specimen of a Red Boy dog. Physically put together beautifully. And uh, the uh, geometry in the head and the body is just it's like he's chiseled out of a big piece of big piece of marble. Very happy to have this dog on board. He's getting some breedings already and he everything indicates that he's going to be a 
a very competent replacement for Red Boy in due time. We're hoping Red Boy lives many years, and I, I expect that he will, but you never know when lightning's gonna strike. I had a, years ago, I had an event where a sister to the champion Simba dog who was pregnant, uh, and my ruby female who was off of Hollingsworth Red Lady, uh, both pillars of the, of the dog yard struck by the same bolt of lightning, and obviously they didn't survive. So, uh, you know, you always got to have a plan B. We're not uh, putting up any lightning rods or anything, but uh, yeah, you better, better have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Red John, remember the name. All right, this beautiful specimen of a, of a bulldog is named Rondo. Uh, Rondo is from Bushwick Bill and Loetta. Um, that's great loyalty, royalty in this dog's bloodlines. Um, everybody's uh, been a stellar animal uh, in his all the generations that I've been involved with. He is noteworthy in that he is an extraordinarily talented athlete, uh, has incredible drive and pace, uh, super high ability. He's just, uh, he's formidable. He's an extraordinarily talented example of a pit bull and yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be the, the, uh, the wild boar that he gets on. He will, he will make you pay.